hello! Welcome to Ivana's Noshk Life. If you are looking for a job in the development and maybe you're searching for some information about how you can practice or prepare yourself for the interviews, or maybe even you're just learning some new programming language and you don't know where to find tasks to practice on. So this video will be useful for all of you because I will share three websites that you can use for free to practice your coding skills in, in different programming languages. So let's start the vlog. I want to start with the first website that I really find useful. It is hackerrank.com and you see my personal dashboard the one that I was using. So as you can see, you can uh, do like just practicing, you can do certification, uh, you can participate in different actually competitions that they have. So if, for, for example, you just uh, search for hacker rank test, uh, you can see that there is possibility of entering just a sample test where you do a 29 minutes test. Uh, so they actually uh, measure time into that. There is also, they have Hacker Run interview preparation kit. There is also possibility of uh, going into different challenges um, that they have. And I find it like extremely cool and, and useful. So for instance, now you can see that they have 120 minutes competition that consists only of four questions and you can do it and it's like advanced financial markets together so i think like in addition to kaggle that is very popular this one is also very cool and you can even win some nice prizes as you can see first prize second and third prize but it's not what i want to talk i want to talk more about uh, basic things so, for example, you can start with uh, solving basic skills. You can go into Python. You can uh, work on SQL and you can see which of those I was actually completing. So I knew that data scientists require really advanced knowledge in SQL. So I was trying to use every possible uh, course and information available about SQL to practice as much as possible. Because I knew reading is one thing, but sitting and doing it, it was like very critical. So, and then you can see that, for instance, you can select which level you want to start with. I was starting with the basic and then going up and up. Then you can select the difficulties and even different subdomains like aggregation of basic joints and so on. I can say that now I'm doing much more complex uh, sequels than here, but this was really great start and it also got me used to this like basic order of the com command or like basic order in the sequel that you need to follow and so on. So it was cool. So if uh, I don't know, let's look. I have some of it solved. You're writing code here. You can select which uh, type of or which mm, dialect of uh, SQL you want to use and then start writing your command here. So I think it's like pretty neat. You also can see how many submissions you had. Also leaderboard, like who did better and so on, the rank and score that you're getting, some discussions on the topic if you want to see. And unfortunately, people uh, place here some parts of the code. I didn't like that because then it's kind of if you want to do it yourself, I wouldn't recommend to cheat and go to see how other people did it. Really, try to do it yourself. Take as much time as you need, but try to do it yourself. But let's go back. So as you can see now here, they have an interview preparation kit. When I was doing it a year ago, uh, so it wasn't, I don't remember it to be available or whatever. But you can see that now they're having it like on different, different topics. And actually, for instance, uh, I'm uh, not used the very much to dynamic programming so i would uh, easily just in the evening sit and uh, 
practice slightly on that. Or if I want to improve my skills on recursion and backtracking, also kind of just go and do it. So as you can see, many different things is available on Hacker rank. And also I think it's uh, more than one language. So if you see skills available for practice, you can see that it's algorithms, data structures, mathematics, C, C++, Java, Python, Ruby, Linux shell, oh, this one is cool, functional programming, artificial intelligence, SQL, databases, and regex. So actually this one looks really cool, Linux shell. Oh, so it's kind of we can loop in and skip in. Oh, this is very nice. So it's kind of for learning how to do this and practicing. I find it very useful. I hope you too. So, and as you can see, it is free of charge. This is like what I really like about Hacker Rank is that you can learn and do so much and you don't need to pay at all. So, yay! Let's go to the next one. The next one that I also used personally, it is a code signal. Code signal, it's also uh, provided for us for be able to practice to the, you can prepare for the interviews, you can do challenges, you can do kind of like game arcade. If for instance, we go in the arcade, you can select what do you want to practice? Do you want to go just in the intro? Unfortunately, here they, uh, yeah, but code signal, so it's about coding. Uh, the core, and then you can see there is also databases, Python, and graphs. So the topics uh, are like a bit less than what we had in HackerRank. But still, as you can see, I was uh, trying some Python and the core and intro, so I was doing some of the tests. So let's take a look what is inside the core. And then you can see that it actually shows you who is from your friends, also is kind of participating and where you are taking, like what are you doing. So you have to pass all eight tasks in order to get to the next level and so on and so on. So for me, it's kind of like playing a game and I find it like really, really cool. So let's look what was in the core in the third task about candies. So as you can see here, it is a described a describe task, then example of what is kind of input and how they want to see output. And um, based uh, on this information, they also give you some syntax tips. That is also very cool. And then they even give you some base already that you, oh no, it's actually, Probably it's because I already have sold it. And then you run a task. If you need a help or something, then you actually can, uh, I think, also use uh, points that you have in order to um, kind of give you some hints. And as you can see, you can also select different languages in which you can do these tasks. So for instance, if you're proficient in one of the languages and you want to learn another one, you can start with such simple tasks and then just, I don't know, you want to learn C++, for instance. So you can start with something simple and then build up on that. And not always you need to sit and spend many hours on watching the videos uh, on the courses. Uh, sometimes if you have already some basics and you just want to practice, this is good. But if you just completely new, I would recommend you to complete at least one or two courses on the fundamental knowledge in programming, some fundamentals, so you can practice and try to solve some simple tasks. So remember that practicing without some basic theory is not that good because you will be just uh, doing something without any understanding what you're doing. So that's why these um, websites, these services I was using because I already had some knowledge, but I wanted to practice kind of. I didn't want to sit and spend time on creating my own tasks to solve. So that's why I was using this. Uh, I was using these services just to quickly get some uh, tasks and keep my mind uh, trained and practiced every single day. 
So I was doing it every single day before going to the interview. So if we look, uh, let's go back. For instance, we can try to open another one that, uh, yeah, so this is how that husk looks like. You can see it's a bit longer task where I stopped. It's about cinema and you do some practice and so on. And then you can start to build on that. So it's kind of they giving you a hint what are the inputs. Uh, here you can find what they actually want as an output that it's supposed to be integer. And then uh, you can just think of what's supposed to be here. When you are done with the writing code, then you run tests, you will get them here. You actually can read them even now. So what is input and what was expected output. And then if everything is correct, you do submit. This is how you use code signal. Uh, this was arcade and if you go into interview practice, so here you can see it's also arrays, linked list, hash tables, three basics. In the, it depends on the application area you will be using, you will be working with and then you can focus more on the given tasks. I do find it very cool. And the last one I haven't used myself. But uh, I, I was uh, recommended to share it with you because many people use it for preparation for the interviews. There is two possibilities. One, I tested myself, so I just logged in. I created my own uh, account and I wanted to see if it's possible to use it for free. Yes, there is a part of the content uh, that is available for free and then there is a part of content, then you need to have a subscription. So if you talk about subscription, so monthly is $35 and yearly it is $159. But as I showed you before, just by using different uh, services that I showed you, I think it should be enough to go with uh, free use of such services. But if you feel that you have ability of paying, then please do this as you feel. But I want to show you what is available for free. So for free, it is available different uh, practices on dynamic programming, heap, graph, and, uh, and arrays, even some top interview questions. But for instance, what is for the paid account, it is a Google interview. But introduction to algorithm recursion, uh, one, it is for free of charge. All like basic concepts in machine learning, it is also free of charge. So when you see this premium label, this means that is a paid content. Like here is like from different companies, some questions. So it's one thing, but also you can use just learn in the Explorer. So you can see in the learn uh, subsection, you have quite many things to practice and to learn from, right? So this is what I think is very interesting. There is also a possibility of going into the problem set. And then you can see, uh, I have checked, like I went into this uh, to some, so I was just interested, okay, can I just do all of these tests that are listed here? And as it appears, yes, I actually can do this. So if I go in the tool sum, you will see that I also can select the language in which I want to practice it. And it's like very large subset of the languages. And there is also on one side, you have a tasks, you have an examples, and then you have a place to write your own code. So this is very cool because it actually starts with the class and this is a bit more, much closer to the code that you will have to write when you work in the company. So that's why I think this is like really nice and I would definitely recommend you to go through some tasks here and just to practice. So this is all from me. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos and see you next time. Bye.